In this video, we will be solving part B of this question, which says the indifference curve through the point four comma six passes through the points dash comma zero seven comma dash and two comma dash. Use the blue ink to sketch in this indifference curve. Incidentally, the equation of Bird's indifference curve passing through the point four comma six is x two is equal to dash. So we are required to fill in all the blanks. Now note that. All the consumption bundle on a given indifference curve will give the consumer the same level of utility. That means, if the indifference curve passes through all these points, which is four comma six dash comma zero seven comma dash and two comma dash, then the utility Bert is getting from the point four comma six would be equal to the utility that he would be getting from all these points. So let's first quickly evaluate the utility that Bert is getting from the point four comma six. We were given in the question that your utility function takes the form of u of x one comma x two, which is equal to x one plus two multiplied by x two plus six. And now let's calculate the utility at the point four comma six. In order to do that, all you have to do is substitute the values of x one and x two with four and six respectively, and calculate the value of the function at this point. So that would be four plus two, since x one is four, multiplied by x two plus six. That would be six plus six, as x two takes the value of six. This is your six multiplied by twelve, which is equal to seventy two. So this is your six. Multiplied by twelve, which is equal to seventy-two, which is nothing but the utility that Bert is getting from consuming the consumption bundle four comma six. Now, since the point four comma six dash comma zero seven comma dash and two comma dash are lying on a same indifference curve, that means that they all would be giving the utility of seventy-two to Bert. For our ease, let this dash be represented by alpha. This dash. That is seven comma dash be represented by beta, and this value be represented by gamma. So what we know till now is that the utility of four comma six should be equal to the utility of alpha comma zero, and this is equal to the utility of seven comma beta, and this is equal to the utility of two comma gamma, and this is nothing but equal to seventy two as we calculated. Here, so let's take some of the components from this equation and calculate the value of alpha, beta, and gamma. Firstly, we would be taking this component and this value. So that would be utility from alpha comma zero would be equal to seventy two. Now here, your x one is alpha and x two is zero. So substituting the values of alpha and zero into this expression, we get alpha plus two. As x one is alpha multiplied by x two plus six and x two in our particular case is zero, so that would be zero plus six is equal to seventy two. That would leave us with alpha plus two multiplied by six is equal to seventy two, or alpha plus two is equal to seventy two divided by six. Further solving this, this gives us alpha plus two is equal to twelve, or alpha is equal to twelve minus two, which is equal to ten. Thus, your alpha is ten. Hence, this point becomes ten comma zero. Let's move on to the next component. That is, the utility of seven comma beta is equal to seventy two. And this way, we would be able to calculate the value of beta. So that would be utility of seven comma beta is equal to seventy two. Again, we will follow the same procedure as here. But now your x one is seven and x two is beta. So substituting these values into this expression, we get seven plus two multiplied by beta plus six is equal to seventy two. So that would be nine multiplied by beta plus six is equal to seventy two. Or your beta plus six is equal to seventy two divided by nine. Or your beta plus six is equal to eight. This gives you the value of beta as eight minus six, which is equal to two. Thus, your this point becomes seven comma two. Now let's move on to the next part where we will be calculating the value of gamma. So that would be the utility of Two comma gamma is equal to seventy two, or two plus two multiplied by gamma plus six is equal to seventy two. 
as here your x1 is 2 and x2 is your gamma so this becomes 4 multiplied by gamma plus 6 is equal to 72 or gamma plus 6 is equal to 72 divided by 4 that would be gamma plus 6 is equal to 18 or your gamma is equal to 18 minus 6 which is equal to 12 so your this point becomes 2 comma 12 where gamma takes the value of 12 so if i fill in the blanks the, my first dash would take the value of 10 second dash would take the value of 2 and third dash would take the value of 12 and now we are asked to use the blue ink to sketch the indifference curve so let's do that note that this is your given graph let me erase something from here so that you're easily able to visualize the graph so that would be like this so now this is your graph where on the x-axis you have cookies and on the y-axis you have glasses of milk and the previous part we drew this black line having the slope which was equal to the slope of your indifference curve which was minus 2 and this line passes through the point 4 comma 6. Now it is given in the question that the indifference curve also passes through the point 4 comma 6. 10 comma 0, 7 comma 2 and 2 comma 12. And these are the points we calculated just now. So if I plot these points, they all will lie here. So this is your point 2 comma 12, this is your point 4 comma 6, this is your point 7 comma 2 and this is your point 10 comma 0. So joining all these points, you would be able to sketch your indifference curve as indifference curve passes through all these points, hence giving you the same level of utility which is your 72. So your indifference curve would look like this blue curve. So this blue curve passes through all these points and gives the consumer the utility of 72. Next, the question asks us, incidentally, the equation of Bird's indifference curve through the point 4 comma 6 is x2 is equal to dash. Now, we know that the utility at the point 4 comma 6 is 72 and the utility function takes the form of x1 plus 2 multiplied by x2 plus 6. So, that would be x1 plus 2 multiplied by x2 plus 6 is equal to 72. Now, question wants us to keep x2 on one side and everything else on the other side. Your expression becomes x2 plus 6 is equal to 72 divided by x1 plus 2. Now, taking 6 also on the right side, your equation would become x2 and this is 1 is equal to 72 divided by x1 x1 plus 2 minus 6 so this would be 72 divided by x1 plus 2 minus 6 which is nothing but your x2 so that was all for this video we will do the remaining parts in another video